Hey everyone! Today I'm diving into a crucial topic for every vet out there, tetanus in animals. This is a condition that can affect a wide range of animals, from livestock to pets, and understanding it is key to ensuring their health and well-being. Let's get started. First, let's talk etiology. Tetanus is caused by the bacterium Clostridium tetani, which is commonly found in soil and feces. This bacterium is incredibly resilient and can survive in harsh conditions for long periods. The bacterium produces spores that can lie dormant in the environment until they find a suitable host. Once they enter an animal's body, they become active and start producing toxins. This sneaky pathogen produces toxins that attack the nervous system, leading to severe and often life-threatening symptoms. Now, on to transmission. Animals can contract tetanus through wounds, especially deep puncture wounds. These wounds provide an ideal environment for the bacteria to thrive, as they are often low in oxygen. The bacteria thrive in low oxygen environments, making those deep, anaerobic wounds a perfect breeding ground. It's crucial to clean and treat wounds promptly to prevent infection. Next up, pathogenesis. Once Clostridium tetani enters a wound, it produces a toxin called tetanospasmin. This toxin is one of the most potent known to science and can cause severe muscle contractions. This toxin spreads through the bloodstream and nerves, leading to muscle stiffness and spasms. The progression of these symptoms can be rapid and alarming. What about symptoms? In animals, you might notice stiffness, difficulty eating or moving, and heightened sensitivity to touch or sound. These symptoms can escalate quickly, so early detection is vital. As the disease progresses, muscle spasms can become severe, even leading to respiratory failure. This is why immediate veterinary attention is crucial. Diagnosis is key. This typically involves a combination of clinical signs and history of recent wounds. Veterinarians must be thorough in their examination to catch all possible signs. There aren't specific lab tests for tetanus, so a good clinical examination is essential. Observing the animal's behavior and physical condition can provide critical clues. For treatment, early intervention is crucial. Administer antitoxin to neutralize the toxin and provide supportive care like wound cleaning, antibiotics, and muscle relaxants. These steps can significantly improve the animal's chances of recovery. Ensure a quiet, dark environment to minimize stimuli that could trigger spasms. Reducing stress is a critical part of the treatment process. Prevention and control are the best strategies. Vaccinate your animals regularly against tetanus. Vaccination is a highly effective way to prevent this disease. Clean and disinfect wounds promptly to prevent infection. Regularly check your animals for any injuries, no matter how small they may seem. For those in high-risk areas, booster shots may be necessary. Consult with your veterinarian to determine the best vaccination schedule for your animals. To wrap up, understanding tetanus from etiology to prevention can make all the difference in managing this serious condition. Knowledge and vigilance are your best tools in keeping your animals safe. Stay vigilant and proactive in your veterinary practice to keep our furry friends safe and healthy. Your dedication can save lives. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more veterinary insights. See you next time.